What's up collectors? Today I have an ace grading return, if you can believe that. The first grading return in about six months. I'm really looking forward to it. If not a bit nervous after the last one, so let's see how these grades turn out. Okay, so here is my first ace grading return in about six months, I think it is now. 12 card submission, so a little bit more than usual. So I'm hoping that ace kind of redeem themselves in my eyes a little bit with this because the last time I graded with them I just I didn't feel great after the video I know that the grades were okay but yeah I was just disappointed in myself so I'm kind of hoping that the return this time is a little bit better and I can just enjoy it a bit more this time so we will get straight into it I know roughly what order the cards are in but uh, they may have changed them Starting off as well, here is a code card for the Reshiram and Charizard GX collection box that I opened uh, quite recently. I don't know if that video will be up yet, but we will see. And that is going to be the blocker for today. So we'll get to the first one and cover it with the code card so we know which ones are which. Okay, so yeah, they should be in the same order. And we've got Lucario from the um, Crown Zenith Elite Trainer box to start off with. And oh, nice. Starting off with a 10. Really can't argue with that. Gem Mint 10 on a promo, and that's brilliant as well because promos um, don't tend to have that quality to them, so this is really, really good. So we will put Lucario in a really good place there and even chuck the light on for him too. Okay, on to the next one, which if I remember rightly should be a Lucario as well. And yep, that's, that's, that's definitely a Lucario, but it's, a, it's that one. And that also got a 10. Wow, I was not expecting them both to get 10. Fair play, I can't argue with that. So, so far, this is going really well in terms of enjoyment. But to be fair, I don't grade for value. I grade to enjoy the collection. So, I want to get those high grades, but just to know that I have the high grade rather than, rather than um, you know, to sell them on and stuff like that, really. So, we have the Charizard VMAX from the Ultra Premium Collection. I have already graded a set of these, but I hoped that maybe I could get slightly better, so we will see. And a 9, okay, that's fine. Again, promo quality. It's, uh, it's always 50-50, and cards are now falling down. So we will leave them there for now. And then the next one is the V-Star. Okay, and that got a 9-2. Again, expected with promos. Now the last one I know is the V. So this is the one I'm hoping that gets the better grade this time because last time I got it in an 8 and I'd like to have a set of 9s realistically, if not a 10. And yes, okay, so good. I got my set of 9s, so I'm happy with that, especially since it's a promo and it's a really cool promo as well. Okay, no more promos. We now only have cards from sets and I believe there's four alt arts in here, so this is the good stuff. And I can't remember what order these are in, so hopefully it starts good. Okay, so we've got the Charizard V Star from Brilliant Stars. I pulled this in like my first booster box, I think, of Brilliant Stars, so I wanted to get it graded. And ooh, nice, Gem Mint 10 starting off. Really can't complain about that. Would be good if I could get them to stand up though. That would be uh, that would be really handy. I think I know what the next one is. Okay, here's the big one. We've got the old art now. I'm really hoping to get this in a 10 just because I think I've sent several old arts off to Ace and I've never got a 10 with an old art, which sucks. So let's see if this can finally break that cycle. And it did, it got a gem in 10, so I am thrilled with that because I'd have to go out and buy another one to try and get the 10. So they'll save me a few quid there. Right, and I think we can officially swap Lucario over with the Charizard and even change the lighting as well. I think there's one Char no, two Charizards left and then no more Charizards, I promise. Okay, we have the full art this time. I guess the question is now, can we get a set of them? Oh no, that one got a nine, but that's fine. I mean, the alt art is the one you wanted the 10 in, so that's okay. But no, this alt art got a nine. And I pro you probably noticed by now, but every card in this submission today has an ace label. Because I managed to catch the end of the deal that they were doing. And then you've just got the standard Charizard V from Brilliant Stars. Same artwork as Crown Zenith, but nope, that is the Brilliant Stars one, you can see it there. And this one we got, ooh, that one got an 8. Wow, good play. So we've got 8, 9, and 10. I guess, uh, 
I guess at least we can learn to count. Okay, no more Charizards, that's it. So the next one we have is the Espeon V Alt Art from Evolving Skies. Now, my friend gave me this, just kind of just gave me it randomly. I still owe him for it in some way, shape or form, but I thought to get it graded because it's a really cool card. And nice, at least it got a nine. So I'm happy with that and a really cool lace label as well. Next we have some very modern cards. So these are all from Sword and Shield kind of era. Now we're moving into Scarlet and Violet and my first graded Scarlet and Violet cards. So we've got the Maridon EX SAR to start off with. Now I'd love these cards in a 10 and I hope to get a set of 10s and it would be cool if uh, the certain numbers were the same too. What the sequential, that's the word. Can't speak today. And starting off we have, oh nice we've got a gem mint 10 with that one. So the Moridon in a gem mint 10. I do tend to compare grades with Ace to Beckett because it may not look it today. I've never had this many 10s in one video, but um, getting a 10 with Ace is a difficult thing. If you've seen the Poker Flurry video recently, you can see how they grade their cards and they go down to the absolute finest detail. So to have this many 10s in from Ace in one video is an actual miracle and I've thoroughly enjoyed opening it up. So you're finally moving on to the Coridon, which I nearly spoiled the grade. I hope I didn't spoil it fully because I did see the end letter. And we have, oh nice, that got a 10 as well. So we're ending with two Gem Mint 10s there with the Coridon and Miraidon SAR cards. Absolutely brilliant. That was brilliant. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Having so many 10s, I was very, very surprised. Yes, it was a small submission, but to get six 10s out of 12, I was shocked. After my last A submission, I was really, really tempted not to go back probably because I didn't submit the best cards in the world, so having those grades come back, it was disappointing. But after seeing Poker Chloe's video the other day, it gave me some confidence actually, because it showed how, just how much they go into a card when they're grading it, so how closely they look at it. Okay fine, you may not be able to see some of the imperfections, and I stand by the comment that I made on her video as well. Maybe Ace need to implement a 9.5 grade somewhere, because having a 9 that's so similar to a 10, I think is maybe a bit close. But overall, I'm really happy this time. And I think that's the main thing, really. I graded 12 cards that I really wanted to have graded. It's a bonus that they came back as a 10, because I'm not looking to sell cards, so the value does not matter that much. The main thing is, I'm happy. And that's what the hobby is all about. So if you're looking to get that card graded, if it comes back a 1, a 2, a 5, a 7 or a 10, that's brilliant. But get it graded if you're happy to have it graded for your collection. So I hope you've enjoy enjoyed today's video. I certainly have. Please like, comment and subscribe for the next video. I believe I'm doing a CGC return next. See you next time.